Hey guys, it's Molly and today I'm back with another video. I'm wearing the same outfit as my spill the tea tag. It's because I'm filming this the same day. I tried to make it look like I was it was another day by switching my lip color, but I'm telling you anyway, so there was no point. <laughs> but today's video, I'm going to be showing you my all-time favorite brushes. These are the brushes that I tend to use on a daily basis. So pretty much, I could just have these brushes and not need any of my other brushes at all. So I'm just going to share them with y'all, let you know why I love them, the brand, what I use it for, you know. So if that sounds interesting to you, then please keep on watching. But before we get started, if you're new, make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified every time that I upload. I do hauls, unboxing, story times, tutorials, pretty much anything. So if you're into any of that, then definitely subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into my brushes. So I put them all on this, this little container. This is not what they're normally stored in. I have a little like rotating holder that I keep them in. I just put them in here for right now. So I'm going to start off with the face brushes just because there's not that many. I have mainly eye brushes to show you. So for foundation and concealer I just use a sponge, my beauty blender or my Ricky's one that I got in a box. Those are the two that I would use. Um, so then for powder I've been using this brush. This I, I'm not sure the brand because I actually got sent this for Christmas from Amy Lynn. And it's like a unicorn horn brush. And the bristles are actually like multicolored. But it's these are dirty just so you guys know because I use them today obviously. Um, but I love this brush for doing powder all over the face. And I even use it to dust away baking under my eyes if I bake and I don't know it's just really nice the bristles are super duper soft and I just you know buff everything in with this and it's really amazing and you know I just I love it <laughs> so next I would do bronzer and I like to use this brush um I got it in a set <laughs> for Christmas so if you guys haven't seen my what do you got for Christmas video I'll try to link up with the cards if I remember but I showed it in that video and it's just like a Walmart brush set I think but this brush is ginormous like it's literally huge and I mean okay my contour is a little like iffy on this side because I put way too much on but I like to use this with bronzer and like you know I bronze my face and my neck with it and I really like it. It's really nice, really big and I really like it for my bronze that's in my project pan because all of the product is like on the edges now since I took like all the middle. So I just like shove this in there and it's, it's really floppy too. <laughs> but I love it. It does a really good job at blending everything out and making it look nice. I didn't use it today which is why my stuff's a little too much right here today but normally when I use this it's, it's flawless and it looks amazing so then I would do blush and this is the brush I've been using for blush lately um, it's the same brush that's um, came in the set as that last one and it's just like an angled brush and I don't know it's really soft and I've just been using it to do blush lately um, I don't know I usually switch my blush brushes sometimes I want a denser brush sometimes I want one that's not as dense a little more fluffy sometimes I do angled so I'm just using angled brushes right now and this is the one that I happen to be using and I really like it because I like to like, I don't know. I just really like how it applies blush. Um, oh, I should mention this. So if like my contour or my bronzer is like a little too harsh, I like to use this brush. It's also part of that set. It's just like a flat, very large, like flat brush. And I like to use it to like buff it out as much as possible. I even like to use this for if my blush is too harsh. I'll blend the blush out and I don't know it's really nice I know people use this for like foundation but the bristles really aren't um, that dense so I don't know if it would do that good of a job with foundation but I do really like it to like blend my bronzer and my blush out <laughs> okay so for highlight I love this brush it is the morphe m510 and I freaking love this for highlight it like it's just like the perfect size for my face and it just applies highlight amazing. It's a little dirty right now, but I totally recommend this blush for highlight. It's it's amazing. The bristles are super soft, and I don't know, it is totally... I just really recommend this brush. It's amazing for highlight. Once you use this, 
You ain't never going back to whatever brush you were using before. Alright, and if I get fallout under my eyes from doing eyeshadow, this is the fan brush I like to use to dust it away. It is the Sephora 92 um, Pro Feather White featherweight fan brush and this was a little expensive um you definitely could find a cheaper one this was like an impulse buy just because it, the bristles are so soft on this brush um and you could probably use this one for highlighting because it's not one of the thin ones that's in, that's actually the intent that i bought this for was for highlighting but now i use it to dust things away and I do actually really like it. So those are it for all of my face brushes. I'll try to find this um, brush set and link it down below. If I can't find it I'll try to find one similar um, and then I'll just try to link all all the brushes that I'm mentioning in the description box to the best of my ability. <laughs> Moving on to eye brushes we've got We've got quite a few. So the first one, actually I guess I should go in order of how I do my eye makeup, like I did my face. <laughs> so once my eyelids are primed, I like to set them um, with like a cream shade and this is the brush that I would use. It's the, I, I don't know, it's by Coastal Scents. It came in a brush set. I know the brush set, so I'll link the brush set down below. Um, totally recommend it by the way for beginners or if like you're pretty much a pro and you just need more brushes because I use this brush set like all the time it's amazing but it's just this like really large like C brush and it's amazing it gets like all of my eyelid and I don't know I just love it I love using this to set my primer so it's it's really good um I have a few crease brushes so um I guess I'll show you them. So the first one is this Furless ME3 brush. I actually use it today, so um, she's uh, she's a little dirty. Um, and I actually sat on this and broke it. I don't know if you guys can tell. So I have to be very careful with this. I need to get like some tape or like glue or something. But that doesn't stop me from using it. I love it so much, and it's it's like pinched. I don't know if you guys. Okay, yeah, that, that, yeah, this, yeah, you guys can see that, right? It's, it's, like, wide, but then it's, like, pinched. I don't know, but I love, like, this brush. Why am I dark? Come on. Bring, bring my light back. There we go. I like to use this to, like, directly in the crease. Um, I don't know, it's really, like, and the brushes are really soft. I actually got this in an Ipsy, and I actually kind of want to try more, brushes by this brand because it's really this brush is really nice and I love how long the um what is this called three hours later handle I love how long the handle is so yeah really like that another one is super affordable it is the wet and wild crease brush I love this brush for like if I just want to sweep like a color in my crease really fast because it's more of a larger crease brush and I don't know I just really really enjoyed this um for you can most of the time you can find these brushes at the dollar store and pick up a few of them and you could use this for like blending not just for crease you could probably even use this brush for highlight I don't know it's it's a really good brush very soft bristles great if you just want to throw something in the crease or if you're actually going to do like an intricate look it's really amazing the last crease brush cre crease Crease brush. Crease brush is the Sigma Tapered Blending, the E35. I love this brush. I got this in a limited edition BoxyCharm, and I, I love it so much. I'm obsessed with this brush. It's so nice in the crease. Sometimes I even use it for like my outer corner to like darken it up. Um, but I, I love this brush. I think it's so amazing. I love that it's rose gold like the Farrell's rose gold it's just amazing and I really love Sigma brushes so if you have never tried Sigma brushes you need to stop waiting and try them they're amazing all right so this is my favorite 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 shader brush to put like um like shimmers on the lid or whatever um it is the Sigma it's actually their concealer brush their F70 but I use this all the time for um what is it called for like shimmer shadows and I actually got this in one of their mystery boxes so I don't know it's just really nice the bristles are soft it's like the perfect density for like shimmers and no matter what shimmer shadow I use I feel like it, this brush does an amazing job applying it um, I, I use this literally every day every day 
I have another like Coastal Scents one that I use, but I'll, I would pick this one over it just because I really love this one. So, if you're looking for a flat shader brush, I recommend using this concealer brush. <laughs> So to darken up the outer V of some looks, I love using this Coastal Sense brush that also came in a set. And I don't know how to explain it. It's like a small, like, conceal not concealer, crease brush. I don't know. It's domed and it's really nice to just get that outer V perfectly. It's amazing and it holds on to color really good. So make sure you tap it off because if you go in with like a really pigmented shade and you don't tap it off you might mess up your whole look so <laughs> I don't know I just really like, I actually have this same brush by Coastal Scents but it's instead of black bristles it's like brown and I, I just really like it and it's amazing so for blending I've got two brushes because if I'm going to blend the entire look together I like to use the Morphe M504 brush which is amazeballs. It's definitely a lot bigger than this other brush I'm going to show you. And I love it for literally just... It, I only use this if I'm blending like all the shades together because this is just really good for it. Bristles are so soft and I just like how larger it is because it obviously gets more space done faster and... It's amazing and I've been trying to find this brush forever and then Amy told me, Amy actually had it and then she told me what it was and I was like, thank you so much girl. So now I have that. The other one is this Sigma E40 tapered blending. It has longer bristles but it's definitely not as fluffy as this Morphe one and I like it to blend the edges and just soften the edges of looks out a little more. Um, that's actually what I did today with this brush and I really do like this. I actually own two of these because I love it so much. I'm telling you guys, Sigma's got some real good, real good brushes. To smudge some color underneath my lash line, I've really been using this Coastal Scents brush. Um, it's just, I don't know, a little like tiny little brush and it just fits underneath my eyes like amazing. Um, I also like to use that Luxie flat one that we got in a boxy charm, like the four piece set. Um, but that's so small half the time I can never find it in all my brushes so I just gra grab this one quick and I don't know it just fits like perfectly right there it's amazing and I totally recommend getting a little brush like this because it's really good to highlight the inner corner of my brow bone I love this coastal sense one it also came in another set but this one actually has like some numbers on it brcs12 I don't know if that's gonna help anybody um but it's a little tiny C brush and the brushes are a little more dense on this and I just feel like it packs like the color on really great and my inner corners always look really bomb when I use this brush because the shimmers like are so nice with this brush and also on my brow bone so I don't know I've this has been the brush that I've been using to highlight both of them for like a while now and I really really enjoy it. And the last brush I have for you guys is for eyeliner. It is the Morphe M409. It's a small little angled brush and I love this for cream eyeliner or gel liner because I can just set it, get the sharp line and then fill in everything. It's amazing. Totally recommend it if you're like um, wanting to start with like gel or cream eyeliners and you don't want those like small little ones. Ugh, I hate those little brushes so much. This is amazing and I love it. I actually have a few of these. Not this one in particular, but like this kind of brush. But this Morphe one's really amazing. And I swear, it'll change your eyeliner game for life. So that right there was all the brushes that I like to use on a daily basis and pretty much could just live with just those brushes and get rid of all the other ones that I have. But I won't because I don't really like washing my brushes all that much. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, but like I said, I will try to link all the brushes down below. If I can't find the exact brush, I'll try to find a similar version for you guys. To the best of my ability, I'm gonna try really hard for you all. So let me know if you use any of those brushes that I mentioned and if you love them as well, or if there's any brushes that I mentioned that you've never seen before and you would like to try. 
also let me know because I'm nosy and I want to know. But that's all I have for you guys today. Hope you all enjoyed and if you did, please give this video a humongous thumbs up so I can know. Make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I upload. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or requests, leave them all down below. I'll get them as soon as I can. All my social media will be linked down below. My Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and my beauty on the Instagram will be linked down below so make sure to follow me on all of that. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed. I love my Molly Kins, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.